Hey guys, hey, it's me, Jimmy Lou from the Messy Craft Corner. Hello, you guys. Hello, hello, welcome. Okay, look it. I have all my seam binding all wrapped up, put into a cool basket. Bev's over there showing me up, having her seam binding in this really pretty glass container. Well, guess what? Now I have this kind of cool basket. And this was my mom's. And she used to keep little candies in it. So... Um, I have this purple out for the, I have a new book next week that we're going to start. That's a really pretty purple and, um, I'm going to use this zigzag, zigzag. Good morning, Jamie. So I took the time. I wrapped up all my seam binding. So it's not so loosey goosey laying everywhere. Here's a piece laying in here and, um, to keep it all nice and kind of neat. Maybe we can keep it going this way. Who knows? So, uh, seam binding, you guys. I'm going to have a couple of new colors on Friday for Friday's sale. Um, the, we were, we're going to be going back to the, there's only a certain number of them that we have. So, I'm going to be dying seam binding this week, you guys. Who is ready for to work on this bird book? I know I am. Um, let's see who all is here. Good morning, Veronica. Hello, Miss Carol. Good morning, Rita McCorkle. How are you? Hi, Dana Graham and Carol. I miss to Carol Benke. Is I say your name, Miss Carol? Hello, Jamie. Who else is here? You're ready? Okay, so we're going to work on this book. And I kind of had an idea. Listen, this has been bothering me most of the night. So we're, I'm going to be doing a different cover for that book. Um... And I have some really pretty quilt pieces that you can even get your fingers on. Um, let me see. I had here. Okay, so I have a bunch of these kind of chipboard pieces and they sort of spilled everywhere. But I thought maybe this one. Because whenever we did this book over on YouTube... Um, I had this bird nest. It was a whole thing. We were trying to figure out exactly what we wanted to do on the cover. And I couldn't, I just couldn't figure it out. And I think I just want to do simple. I think I just want to do this. What journal are you working on there, Miss Dana? Hello, Miss Maddie from Junk in the Trunk. Um, so I think I just, sometimes simple is better. Do you know what I'm saying? And we did the the tall and skinny. We wrapped the pretty lace around it. And maybe we might go that direction with this one also. Even though I don't have a bird pin. I have some other really pretty ones. So I would love to know exactly what you're thinking. So the cover is a green quilt that has... it's The inside is all this. Okay. The outside has pieces of this. And then it has some pieces of different fabrics as well so i think we're going to just do this it is very attractive and i think you know like blessed are the curious for they shall have adventures and i think a bird watching book talks all about the adventures of all the things so thoughts and then so what i want to say is before i say it i want to make sure i have something to write on because some of y'all are going to say you want some of it so i have um I have pieces of this quilt. Anyone like a piece of it? Um, they're $15. It's depending on, you know, if you have other stuff coming or not, will depend on the shipping, but roughly about $4 shipping on it. So, um, you can just tell me in the comments if you want one and I'll write your name down, but, um, it comes nine by 12. So they're like the perfect size for doing a journal cover. Okay. And then what I did was I put lace. Dana Graham. Um, I put a piece of lace around the bottom or along the bottom to create this pocket. I left the ripped and torn shabby part at the top and the scalloped edge on the bottom. Um, I put in a pretty green doily and we're going to do some things with some charms for this book. I have to pull out some bird things, but um, I ultimately I want to put some charms on here. So really, really pretty. Okay. This was just a plain white doily that I dyed when I was dyeing the seam binding. 
here's this is the printable you can purchase the printable it's up on my page it's not my printable there's no code for it um but you guys there it's it's very pretty it's a very pretty book so um we can tuck in some tags into some of these tuck spots and we've got writing paper so i did two layers two layers of for a belly band the lace is a layer the paper is a layer okay and then this is a pocket and we got a pocket i've been trying to tuck things into the pockets so yeah the printable is really stunning and i want to say that if you're doing any kind of like like maybe a green themed book um you know this tree is beautiful if you're doing a garden book the floral pieces are are stunning in it you know you can use it in other doesn't if you're taking you know one about cameras or maybe father's day you could really do a lot with these in my opinion so we've got tuck spots anita okay and then we have this was an old book page and i just tucked it in there with that so you're getting to see some of my process for when I'm like finishing up a book that should fit in there and it's not going to, it's going to, there we go. It'll go in that way. <laughs> Good morning, Molly. Thanks for putting me in the junk journaling jamboree. So I didn't quite see anybody say about the thing on the front, but I'm just going to go with it. Okay. We're just going to have it as a part. And we're just sucking some things in. I think I'm out of the white ones, you guys. So then that way, whenever you're writing. Now, I still am struggling with the red on the vintage book page here. But I got to let it go, right? We got to let it go. Be like Elsa. Just let it go. <laughs> Hi, Dottie Street. So we're at a place now where I want to start putting more lace along the edges, too. So I have some pulled out. For us to do and add get some pretty things happening and then here we made this is what we did yesterday we did a couple of pockets so we have two on the coffee dyed page and one here now i also oh, there's some more white ones um i also have some plans for this so we're just gonna start working good morning you, oh you like the chipboard for the front i do too and i even was like well maybe we should put Maybe we should slap a little lace on it, you guys. Maybe we should put a little lace behind it just to make it popped up a bit. What do you guys think about that? Hi, Trina. A little bit of lace behind there. Just like so. Because my other choice was some of these flowers. And even though this isn't a flower journal... Um, you know, I thought, well, it would look pretty and, oh, I know what I was going to do. We need a button. I need to get my button jar. We need a big old button for the front. And I have this idea because I think this will work. You guys, I want to do, um, a closure. This is how I wanted to do this closure. That's why I brought the seam winding in here. You guys, um, Let's see. I like this one. Or I like this one. Let's go with that one. So we're going to use the button as a closure. And we're going to, you know, do the seam binding around and around. And it's going to look really pretty. So, um, let me see. Hang on a second here. Jimmy knows what she's looking for. Oh, that's pretty too. We do not remember days. We remember moments. <laughs> yeah, the and these are shell buttons. These are vintage. I bought these off of a sweet little old lady who was sitting alongside the road at a yard sale selling some stuff. And, um, okay, so we're going to need something to kind of pop it up. So we have something to wrap behind, okay? Because I was going to do it as a, I was going to sew it on. That's not going to happen. I'm not going to sew it on. 
I don't need to sew it. We're good. Okay. Thank you for sharing and liking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the seam binding and I'm going to go through the button like so and like so. Okay. And then I was going to tie it in a bow. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Because I don't want to lose the button look either. I want the button to have its own look. Okay. You can pull it tight enough, right? And then if we... Okay, so the second button that I'm using is going to be like kind of the base. So whenever this comes around, it needs something to wrap around. Just Am I making sense? It's making sense for me. <laughs> Um, so I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to set this to the side because I, when I do it, we're going to have to let it sit and dry for a little bit. So this is right up here. Okay. So we're going to take these and we're going to fold these under these little, and, um, pockets. There were a lot of pockets in that junk journal set and some of them were just plain like this. And I think that we can make plain look pretty with the other ephemera pieces. There we go. You like the button too? I like the button too. Hang on. I didn't score these. I just am going with it. And yesterday, guys, I got a splinter under my fingernail. And it's smarted. So we're going to go this direction. And we're going to go this direction. That's why I had those extra pieces sitting. Because I want to make some tags that are going to go like this. Okay. And then this one. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet. We could go this direction. And I want to go that direction. I have some of those brown ones we can use. So what's everybody going to do today? Anybody have any extra special plans that you're going to say, Jimmy Lou, I have this today. Hi, Mary Beth. Hello, Mary Beth. Okay, here we go. Here's a reminder. Don't go to the post office or the bank today. They're closed. It's a holiday. Okay, and we're just going to glue this down. Now I have all my ephemera pieces tucked into that front pocket. <laughs> so, let's pull these out. I know what we can tuck in there. We can tuck in one of these basket of flower pieces. All right, why is this stuff not sticking? You're staying in the house, minus 20. Where are you, Jamie? Burr. These are those playing cards. We can tuck one of those in there. And then I have these. These were in like those lunch bags. And they're just little br round brown stickers. Okay. So I want to tuck some of these in here. Because somebody might find them extremely useful in a journal. Right? So... Just put it in there. You can stamp on them. Wisconsin. Brr. Okay, note to self. We're not going to Wisconsin today. <laughs> Cleaning and organizing and sewing. Go you. You sound extremely motivated today. Dana. All right. So I'm folding these under. Just like so. Larry and I are packaging the last of the pick a cards today, getting everything ready for the shipping tomorrow. I'll be live tomorrow, you guys, but not until 11 o'clock. I'm helping my daughter in law with something. Okay. Whew. Old business cards covering the printed side. Yes, Nancy, that's awesome. 
that's a good thing to do. Um, old business cards, you can turn into ATCs really easily. They're like the perfect size to do an ATC or like she's doing a journaling set. All right, so here we go here. So this is like the perfect side to hold the tags. Now, the tags are going to stick out. That's okay. I want them to. They're not going to stick out past the edge of the book, but that's okay. Anybody journaling today? Working on a journal? And if so, what kind of journal are you working on? In fact, those of you who are journaling, why don't you tell us in the comments what kind of journal you're working on? And then do me a favor. Um, Josie, this book we started over on YouTube last Thursday. So if you follow me on YouTube or a subscriber on YouTube, um, the video is there. Um, so you can go and watch it. It is made from a, I have more of these quilt pieces. It's made from a quilt. The quilt is probably from the 80s, maybe it's, I'm not going to go 70s. I'm going to go with probably like the 80s. And it's got some shabby pieces on it. So, working on a coffee journal, 366. Awesome. You guys, she had a good idea with that 366 journal. Just saying. Hang on my... There we go. My piece was sticking up. All right, so we're going to do that. Now, you can decorate up your journals if you want to. Or your journals. Your tags if you want to. I'm going to leave it. The printable kit, there's a link for it on my page. I don't have the name in front of me. I'm really sorry. Okay, so we also have like some of these little envelopes. We can tuck those in. Right? Here's a little bit bigger of a one. Let's just seal this one up. Just like that. Close that over. And then, um, hang tight, you guys. I had some of that brown writing paper somewhere. Well, we'll have to get another pack out. Put some brown writing paper in this, you guys. And so now we can, like, tuck some of the little pockets and little things these can be opened and written in you can tuck little secret notes inside whatever you want to do the kit really had a lot in it and um i'm not this was a new person to me <laughs> i have i have a lot of tags um i just the pack of tags i pulled out to use i accidentally sent to bev <laughs> which that happens so we're going to kind of do this. I have several of these kind of, hold on. So these are like all the bird watching people. We have him, we have him. There's a her here somewhere and we have her. So let's do this her pockets let's put our, our people our bird watchers right um no the 366 day journal that's with bev over at bev's creating with love and whimsy um so if you want to see how she did it what she did you'll have to go watch hers over there trina um that's not i was gonna do it and then i decided really hard that was a hard no um because i with the tags i don't think i'll keep up with it so um there was that right there we go and then we're going to put her over here just like that but the the bird watching stuff that i'm using this was a kit Bed. Very pretty. And then I have these daisies. These come from Hobby Lobby. These are some of my favorite to use. Um, 
because they're so like dainty and delicate and I just think I want to add kind of one sort of each place there. Oh, minus two. Come on, that's a little cold, don't you guys think? Who ordered this cold weather? It wasn't me. <laughs> and that just adds a little something extra. So they're kind of flat. They're not really versus, you know, say these kind. I wouldn't put this kind on the inside just because of how high it is. But the daisies are very pretty. They're a little delicate, but they're very pretty. And um, they're just a fabric. Hi, Marty. Okay, we're going to put this one on this side. I know flowers and guys, but there's a lot of flowers in this journal. Good morning, Sharon. There we go. And that's kind of a little bit more of a simple layout, but I like it. I think it's very pretty. Okay, let's put some stuff in there and get some lace along the edge of this right here. Let's do this one. And then in those tags, um, I haven't been putting anything really in the tags to hang out. Um, but we're gonna, so just give me a second here. Put this on here like so. Pretty, pretty. And then on this one here, we're just gonna do, you know, that little tuck spot thing like we did before. Good morning, Michelle. I like that layout too. I think it's very pretty. Okay, there we go. Just like so. Okay, so now I've got lace. I'm gonna let it, we're letting it all hang out, you guys. And then we're gonna put seam binding in the tops of those holes right there. So let's see, let's find a good color. The coffee dyed will definitely match. This also will look good. I'm not gonna use the same color seam binding that I'm wrapping around. Hi, EB, because um, if I do, and then you go to wrap it, you might pull the whole, you know, kit and caboodle out. <laughs> Larry said that yesterday. Kit and caboodle. Who knows what that even means? I'm going to text my brother because he said he was going to look it up. So we're just going to do this. And then whenever I pull out my beads and my charms to work on this, which it might be later, um, I'm going to put some bulb pins through these and... Um, just put some little charms hanging off of it too. So there we go. Come on. There we go. See, then we have that little bit hanging out of there. <laughs> so my granddaughter has a new trick, you guys, and she keeps pulling all of her books off of her bookshelf. <laughs> <laughs> she's a busy one you guys she is into all of it okay so there we go I'm very pleased with how that turned out I think it turned out very pretty all right so let's go on to this page here and I want to do a top tuck Okay, just something at the top. And I think what I'm going to do is grab a piece of this lace. And we're going to put the lace down and then the tuck. Okay, so that we have something sticking from the top that's going to look really pretty. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take some Fabri-Tac. So journals don't have to be anything like super duper hard. Um... You know, if you have a good printable kit, you're really getting a lot. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck when you have a good printable kit. Because you have all of the things to do all of the things. So, and then um, these here. Okay, so these are envelopes that you can fold up. See these wings? I'm going to cut these off. Because in doing so, 
I now have created a hold on um, a journal card. Okay, and then we can just tuck it. So same thing we're going to do with that one when we get to it. All right, so we're at this spot here, and this is another one of those um, uh, sides of the card. Yeah, found a note in the floor, and I'm not sure what it is. Okay, so we have this little pocket here. And I'm going to leave the opposite side of this blank, except for I might add some lace. Good morning, Kathleen. Oh, somebody's got theirs almost ready to put together. Go, Patty. I'm so proud of you guys. Um, even if you're just watching to learn right now, that's okay. Everybody was at that same place at some point. Um, but if you've been trying, uh, I, I go for it. You guys, I'm very proud of you. Another thing is if you're worried because, um, do you have a favorite, most popular place you like to get? Uh, no, <laughs> um, I don't, um, I tend, okay, so. If you're on Etsy and you're looking, Trina, there are a lot of um, bigger, bigger that have been doing it for longer. And I tend to try and look for someone smaller who, um, you know, maybe just starting out. And so, but my go-to, I always check Cynthia first because Cynthia and I are friends. Cynthia from Guided Creation. So I always check her out first because if she doesn't have it, she may make it for me. Okay. So, but sometimes in searching for it through her, I find someone else who might have it. So there's that. Okay. We're going to tuck that little bird in there. And hang on. I had a bird that was kind of sideways here, you guys. Maybe I used them. I, I must have used them. That's okay. We're going to take this guy and I'm going to fussy cut him. Um, so that's one. Uh, Blossom Paper Arts. She is amazing. Um, so I always, like, I check her. She's kind of a go-to for me. And then uh, Twisted Paper Studio, I check her. She's also a friend of mine, and I'm on her design team. So for me to say, oh, yeah, this is exactly who I go to first, it's a little tricky because I, I do like a lot of different. Okay, so see how cute he is? We're going to pop him up. I'm going to give him some pop dots. I'm going to give him some little... These came from the Dollar Tree, and they're very small, and I don't particularly care for them. I bought them for smaller areas, but I've been trying to use them up. So I don't, I don't make printables, but um, I do support people who make printables. So I do try to find the smaller ones, and I, and you know, there's people that we've used in the. Um, the junk journaling jamboree events. I usually try to check them before I do too many, too many. Okay. Um, yeah, there's a lot. And, um, so here, let me tell you a little tip about Etsy, put them in your shopping cart and save them for later. If they go on sale, Etsy will tell you. So that's always like helpful to me because sometimes I see a kit and I'm like, oh, I don't really want to pay $8 for a printable. Um, so I'll stick it in my, and I'll save it, save it for later. And then if it goes on sale, Etsy will tell me. It is kind of overwhelming. So you almost have to know like what kind of book, what kind of book do you want to do? Do you want to do a 
here's what I do. Okay, so I, I knew I wanted birds for that tall, skinny bird book. That's how we came to this set. Um, I went to the tall, skinny, or the tall, skinny, I went to Etsy and I searched and I looked and I found um, some bird ones that were just ephemera pieces. And then this one kept coming, it kept, Etsy kept showing me this one saying, this is one we think you'll like. So what I did was I was like, okay, put it in my cart. Well, the next day it was on sale and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get it. So that's what I did. So that's kind of how I operate with it. All right. We're going to put this little birdie right here. And now he's got dimensionals behind him. So it pops him up some and he just looks super cute, right? All right, let's get some lace along the edge there. I have this piece, and I have not used this anywhere else. So I think what I'm going to do... Oh, I don't need those in here. <laughs> They're going to get lost. <laughs> All right, we're going to go right here with this. Good morning, Michelle. So yeah, it can be overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. Um, so know what kind of book you're making. So if you're looking for floral pieces and then I try to find when I'm looking, I look for kits that have a lot of stuff in it. Like this had a lot, envelopes, tags, stamps, a lot of different things. So that is also one way that I look. So doesn't that look pretty with that big old piece of hunk and lace there? And then I think this piece here, we're just going to do as a continuum. Right, right on there. It's not exactly the right length, but we're going to make it happen. So see, I don't really care that this had white edges here. Because we're putting a lot of lace on it. Good morning, Michelle. So just like so, because I want some hanging out the book. And then I think we're going to do something down here. Like maybe this is his backpack. His bird watching backpack, you guys. Well, I really used a lot of ephemera here, you guys. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was from. And then you can tuck tags or whatever in there. And I just feel like... Like I still want to add something there. So let's do this. That's now a tuck spot. And we're going to make this a tuck spot too. I print on eight and a half by 11. Just, um, I print on the ephemera pieces. I print on 65 pound weight cardstock. The pages for inside the book, those are, um, like high quality. It's called high quality something. I'm sorry. Oh. Hang on a second, you guys. So, the other day, I sent Bev um, a card. And it, the card was black. Anybody remember seeing the card? Um, so, the card stock is also 8.5 by 11. So, I print the ephemera and the pockets and stuff on card stock just because I want that extra body. The paper, I don't want too much heavy card stock paper inside my journal because it'll make it very bulky very quickly. Not that I don't mind a big book, but <laughs> um, it can get really big. So, all right, so let's put this here. I like having all these tuck spots and pockets. And then this part here, we're going to be doing, um, I'm going to do a, a top corner on this one. Um, so yeah. Good morning, Dalla. Anybody else have any other questions? Don't be afraid to ask. If you're new, that's how you learn. Um, and you can get different tips and tricks from other people. I mean, I'm not the only journaler here on Facebook. Presentation paper is very, you can get, um, oh, what is it called? 
Oh, good gravy. It's called... It's called I Forget. <laughs> um, parchment. You can get parchment paper. Here's a little piece of lace. And I think we're just going to lace it. Ooh, lace it and we're going to do a button. Um, but I got to get my button bin. Hold on. There's not enough of them on the floor right now. Okay, here is, I got like a black, it's a flower. Um, it does have a shank on the back, so I'm going to take my pliers and we're going to cut that shank right off of there. Oh, come on. I don't know where it went either, you guys. Wait, there it is. Okay. I was about to show you and it went flying. <laughs> Resume paper? Yeah, absolutely. All right, so let's add the lace. So you can dress up a pocket just by adding a little bit of lace and a kind of cool button. Just like so. Yay, yay, yay. All right, I want to let that sit for a minute before I start turning pages. And I'm going to get, we're going to make something, okay? So Bev makes these secret tuck pockets. Y'all know what I'm talking about. See how pretty this is? This is really, really pretty. So you must attach them on all four sides to get that secret tuck. I'm just going to trim this to four inches. So now I have two cards. Okay. We're going to glue them together. And we're going to make a tuck. Um, I got to find a piece of card stock to use for the inside. I have any scrap. This might work. This might be perfect. This will be perfect. Look at this. Right out of the scrap bin, you guys. Let's trim it up a bit. Ooh, it's that kind that won't cut right. Ooh, I'm telling you. And we needed that. Hold on. This cutter has been doing just fine cutting until I just grabbed that piece. I'm telling you, it's... It's Michael's. Michael's cardstock, Larry, is just like, it's crazy how it sheds and does all the things. Okay, so we're going to glue these together, three sides, or four sides. We're going to glue it together, but only vellum is tricky to print on. I, listen, some people print on vellum. They print on napkins. They print on fabric. They print on doily. Listen, some of that, it just scares. I don't want to mess my printer up. I paid a lot of money for that printer and I like it. So I don't want to mess up my printer. So I'm very cautious to, uh, of what I stick. I, it's either cardstock and I don't even like to put the 110 pound in there. That even makes me a little nervous. Okay. So all the sides are cut and closed. See how we've got that? Black. I just want to make sure it's going to fit in my pocket and it is. All right. So we're going to cut, I know this is five and a half. I'm going to cut hmm, about an inch and a quarter off from the top. Okay. So now I have two pieces and both pieces are a pocket now. See, oops. And this should fit. Yeah. It's going to fit down in there pretty good. All right. So we're going to add glue at the top here. And I got to tell you, my friend Bev from Bev's Creating with Love and Whimsy is who taught me how to make these. And she does them maybe a little neater than I do. <laughs> okay, and then that 
is not going to fit down in there. So we're going to have to trim some of that off. And then this will slip down in here like, wait, that's the bottom. Where's the top half? Wait, where's the half I cut? <laughs> Hold on. There it is. Ooh, don't lose the top where you cut. <laughs> and then this slips down inside of here. And when pieced back together, um, it's like that secret tuck spot. So, um, what I want to do is we're going to just do like a little design on here is what we're going to do. Which side do you prefer? This side or this side? The yeah, factory end? Probably. Yeah, factory end. yeah, that's probably okay. Sorry, question from the cutting department. <laughs> Larry is the cutting department today, you guys. He's cutting up some really nice quilt pieces. I knew what you meant, though. Okay, so we can add this on here like so. And I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to leave it, but that this will pull. Okay, so we're just creating something that's going to look kind of cool. And then um, we can put something on here and we can even pop it up, you guys. So I'm leaving about an inch worth of space at the top. And we're going to glue this down. And this is just a secret tuck pocket. And we're going to put that on there. Just like so. Okay. So you could write a secret note in there. Um, Pat Allen, down along the bottom, like where you can comment, you should see a star. And if you click on that, um, it will offer for you to, to give stars. Um, but stars are not, they're not necessary. You guys, they're much appreciated, but, um, you know, they're not a hundred percent necessary. I do appreciate them. Um, all right. So I think, do we pop her up? We're going to cut, we're going to trim her out. Oh, wait, I have this too. That's kind of big though. Let's trim her out. Okay, let me get a corner rounder. Hi, Mary Stinson. How are you? You love my work. Thank you. I appreciate that very much. One, one way everyone can help that doesn't cost anything is to sprinkle, S-H-A-R-E, the video out. Um, tell your friends about it. All of that. Look at how pretty that is. I think I want to round up the corners, you guys. Because you can do that. And then let's put her on some pop dots too. Let's get her up off the page. So I'm doing this kind of a primitive way. <laughs> Hang on. I have some stuck to my finger. Let's just trim them off. <laughs> We're doing good. We're doing really good, you guys. Yes, we are. Okay, there we go. Now we can raise her up a little bit. I almost want to put her there. Then she won't be tucked into the pocket. Okay. All right, so let's have a little chat. Who's making a bird watching book? I had two people written down, Dana Graham and Anita Brody, who wants 
a piece of the quilt fabric like I have. It's $15 plus $4 shipping if you if you want to get a piece. Um, and that's the quilt that I'm making this journal out of. We did do the initial thing over on YouTube. Get my weeding tool. See if that helps me any better here. Not really. <laughs> There's so little. They're taking so long to get the sticky off the back. I should have just used foam tape. You're a birder, patty face myth. So if you want a piece, you can just comment that you'd like to have a piece and I'll send you an invoice. Oh, thank you, Patricia. You guys are saying such sweet things today. You're making my day. You're making me forget that yesterday we almost had a, a fail. <laughs> we almost failed. Well, we did kind of fail because I changed my mind what I'm doing. Um, but, okay. I think this is because I have a sore finger. And it's taking a little longer than I want it to. I feel like... I feel like I'm just tearing it up on the back here. Okay, give me a second. I have them almost all peeled off. Let's add some glue. And we're going to go right here. Whoops, right here with her. Just like so. on I have I have a like a hangnail <laughs> it's a piece of paper that got stuck behind there and that just kept popping out all right there we go so that's our our now our journal card so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna open this up we're gonna go to that page that I just did with the pocket and this is gonna live there and look at how that just dressed up the rest of that book or that page okay we've got a piece that I want to do as a top corner tuck up here so we're just gonna make it flat let's hang on I have sticky on here oh did you need the oh you don't need these scissors because you're using your molly trimmer <laughs> you can't hear me I don't think okay let's trim this off and this off and then we have this corner okay so we're just going to make a top corner tuck you can make a bottom corner tuck if you like but some of my bulk is getting more at the bottom so i want to put it more to the top you're putting alara's room together oh i can't wait to see what you get done girly hang on i have there we go all right two sides of glue All right, that little secret tuck got kind of cool. I really like it. All right, it's finishing week here at the Messy Craft Corner, which means I'm pulling out some journals that maybe I haven't worked on in a bit. And um, we're going to make them happen and get them finished. We are going to have a sale on Friday. And on Friday, we'll be selling any books that are finished. This book will be in it, as will the tall skinny that we did um, before. So of this on here this is a really pretty gray and what I want to do is I want to create kind of a pocket using it but I don't want to lose any of the element of the page if that makes sense oh we can do it here you guys this will work all right so we're going to make it a pocket is what we're going to do but we're going to let the lace kind of hang out too, okay? So that way we get that lace look as well as that tuck spot because the lace is so big, okay? Who's ready to do it? We're going to go along the edge here. And down. Ooh, come on. And along the bottom there. I feel like I sometimes explain things too much, but I get told a lot that I'm very good at explaining the things. So 
Maybe I'm not too much. All right, so the roses are kind of behind that lace. It just looks really pretty. And then whenever the book is closed, we're going to have a view of that lace. Okay, and now that is also a little pocket that we can tuck into. All right, we have this piece here, which is the flap. Hold on, I, I have to put these away. They're starting to stick to my hands. <laughs> They're getting everywhere, you guys. Everywhere, everywhere. Also, I have these. They're a postcard, and I wanted to see. Look at that one. Isn't that cool? I wanted to see if there were any in here that I wanted to use in this book. That one. Bird's eye view. So, they're kind of cool. I don't know if there's going to be anything we can use. I mean, she could be a bird watcher. Oh, he's getting a smack and a smooch on her, you guys. All of these kissy ones. That one is probably going to be the one that will work. Let's make it happen, okay? This, I think, these will fit inside of here. Oops, I have two. Yeah, look at that. That's going to fit right inside of there. We've got whatever that place is. I can't remember. Okay, so we need to cut the pieces to fit our little uh, folder part there. Our envelope piece. Okay, and it's measuring four and a half, so I need four and a quarter by four. So four and a quarter uh oh something fell down. You're listening at work, Karen. Okay, and then by four. Okay, so now we can put these on. We're almost at the end of our book, you guys. Look at we have a couple pockets there. Two of these. I want to do this here again. Hold on. Let me glue these down before I end up using them and then not having them. <laughs> not that I can't print more because that's the beauty of having printables. You can go print as much as you need, right? You guys are all working and watching. Nobody get in trouble with your bosses now. I don't want bosses sending me mean messages. Okay. No, no bossy mean messages. All right, so back to here. Let's glue these down. That's going to keep falling out of there, I believe. I just have like a few pieces of ephemera left from this set. Look at That's it. <laughs> that's okay, too. Okay, here we go. I saw someone asking about invoices. We're going to be invoicing this afternoon. Well, when I get off of here. I have them all ready to go. I just have to send them out to the whatever place that it is that you get. You know, PayPal or Square or whatever. Uh, and then we'll be shipping tomorrow. So if you could get those paid today, that's great. Your boss is stuck at home. So you can, you can chat all you want because your boss is at home. <laughs> Although maybe your boss watches too and will see you on here commenting. <laughs> that could be, you guys. I'm just saying, make sure your boss isn't a follower of mine. Or you could be, like, getting in trouble because they saw you on here. Hang on, let me just get that smutcher off of there. Oh, yeah. It's all good. All right, there we go. And then I'm just going to take, I think we're going to use this one. 
And I'm gonna go slightly off. See how that card is sticking out? That's okay, I like that. I think it looks cool. I need to fill my glue bottle, you guys. And we're just gonna let that sort of just be. All right. Okay, so we're doing another top tuck up here. That's gonna be flat, so we're just gonna trim this back. Like so and like so. And then two lines of glue. You're off today? How many of you have off today because it's a holiday? And we're just gonna go right here. I love this coffee dyed paper. It has those kind of cool looking lines on it. I like the top tucks too. And um, don't be afraid of the tucks, okay? Let's talk about this for a second. Don't be afraid of a top tuck, a side tuck either direction, a bottom tuck, make your corners wherever it looks good, okay? Um, you could get really Im intimidated by tucks. And I want you to know I've done them on the sides like this. I've done them on the sides down here. Top tucks, bottom tucks, corner tucks, lots of here a tuck, there a tuck, everywhere a tuck, tuck, okay? Um, Carol, I bought mine on Amazon. They're Sugar Bell bottles. Can you see the name on there? Sweet Sugar Bell bottles. And um, they're actually really nice. This one here needs to be filled when I get off my life. So every every good worker is creative. That's okay? true. So if you have pe people who are at work and they're looking a little bit, they're just trying to polish up their creative side. Oh, is that it? And that's the way I would do it. Okay, that's great. We can look at it that way. <laughs> good morning, Patty. Um, it does not come with the tips. So I have I have my charmed ones. And one's laying back here. Um, so these, you guys keep asking me to put them in the shop. I think it came off the pin. Um, and I keep wanting to do that. But then someone orders them and uh, then it doesn't get put there. So, all right, let's do, we're going to do one of these little flowers kind of right there just because it's cute. All right, and let's go to this side. So I was saying about the side tucks. So let's, okay, I have this. I was gonna do two different pockets here, but let's do this instead. So you can do um, a side tuck where you can tuck something underneath. Let's use this, okay? And here's what we're gonna do. I also have this for a belly band. We're gonna add some lace along the edge here. Let me see, what kind of lace do I want to add? Did I add any of this to this book? I did not. Let's add some of this. This is really pretty, you guys. So we're gonna add this as some lace trim along here. Okay, let's, let's grab us some. This looks like it belongs on a lady's dress. It's super pretty. And let me get a, I was gonna put a clip, but I don't know what happened to my clips. Oh, here they are. It's like, I have a bunch of purple ones. Where did they go? So let's do this so it doesn't move and you can kind of see what I'm doing. So we're going to add this as a trim right here. This book might be finished today, you guys. Okay, and we're going to take... Woo! We're going to take this and we're going to add this along the edge here. Okay. Now you're gonna say, well, wait, I thought you were making a side tuck. And we are. We're just gonna go like this to create that side tuck, okay? And I'm gonna take a, let's take a brad. Well, they're all flying out now, you guys. I'm trying for the green one. I can't seem to grab it, there it is. So let's just put a brad in the hole here. Okay. Hold on. Ooh, these are tough ones. Okay, just like so. All right, so what I think I want to do is get my cutters and I'm going to trim this one side off. 
just because. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to glue this down, and then it'll be a little tuck spot. So I'm only gluing along this edge right here, right there. Okay, and we're going right onto the fabric. Now we've got that tuck spot that we can stick something in. So I have some of those circle stickers. We have this. And oops, we can take, you can take these and frame these out onto these. They're really cute. And then that makes it pretty when it's tucked underneath there. Or you can just tuck things under plain so that way whoever gets the journal they have a place to write and to maybe maybe they saw a really cool bird somewhere and they can do it there right okay so here here we're going to put this as a little tuck spot there and leave the writing paper in place hola miss lee lexi creations in the house how are you there andrina how are you you're doing good? I saw a picture of your girls. They're getting so big. They're getting so big. Okay, so there we go there. I already added my pieces on here. And we just have these two. So I want to add this as um, a belly band. Because we just don't seem to have enough belly bands. I can't believe I'm saying that. But um, let's do that. So I'm going to trim this up, you guys. And my pages are five and a half, so I'm going to actually cut th this down to five and a quarter. Oh, thank you. Five and a quarter, we're going to go. Lee Lexi Creations, she does a lot of really cool, like, vintage -y stuff. If you want to give her a follow, you guys. She does home decor and some really cool things. All right, so we're going to add this as a belly bit. Now, we're going to lose some of the rows, but that's okay. I'm not crying about it. <laughs> <laughs> we're not crying about it and then we're going to put this little bird stamp on there but before I do that we're going to add some lace to this they are getting big yeah I saw pictures of my my great nieces yesterday too and I was like oh my goodness I can't believe how big my great nieces are getting Kids have a tendency of growing up pretty fast, don't they? <laughs> I'm not crying about it. We could cry about it, but... Um, let's see. I'm going to take a piece of this, but I'm going to trim it up. We got some shabby pieces hanging here. I need to clean this desk off and maybe do a... Uh, time to do a... Uh, what's it called? A snippet roll with the stuff on the desk. All right, we're going to add this. Trim this off right there. We're going to add this and then this birdie and see how plain goes to pretty really quickly. Andrina is saying, hola, Larry. Good morning. Andrina. All right, so we're going to do this like so. And then this. Yep. Cold weather. Oh, I know. It is so cold. And I was looking. It is not supposed to warm up here in Pennsylvania. It's supposed to be in the... It's supposed to be in the 20s all week, Larry. Not even joking. Okay. I know, right? So we have, oops, hang on. Oh, I was like, ah, oh, I glued it together, but it was this. So I think I'm going to just take a little bit of this black and we're going to go along the edge of this page. Okay. Did you stain that dolly? This one? Yes, I, I dyed it. Um, I dyed it the same color as my seam binding. Isn't it pretty? It's pretty, right? 
Oh, she's going to take a nap with the dog. <laughs> Maybe so. Alara. Evie said she just laid down on the floor with the dog. It's nap time. She's saying it's nap time. It is perfect. It does match the, the color very pretty. Very prettily. Very prettily. Prettily. That's a word, isn't it? It is now. I just made it up. <laughs> okay, so there's our piece there. I'm being careful not to glue this all together. Okay, so we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up with the cover. Okay. Hold on, let me just check my time. All right, we've been on over an hour. That's okay. Um, we're gonna do the cover so that it has a chance to dry. Look at that. Love it. And um, then this afternoon. Um, we're going to do some beadwork. Maybe I might do a tassel. I mean, I don't know if I am or not. Um, we're going to do all of those things later today. And then this book will be finished. It's a finishing week around here at the messy craft corner. So, um, you can stay tuned for all things finishing. All right. We're going to tuck some tags and some stickers into these pockets in the front and the back. Oops, that has a really cool journaling spot. That nest is just really cool. Okay, so what we decided on was to put this little bitty lace here. Can you guys see okay? I want you to be able to see. We're going to put this little bitty lace here with this. A little bitty. Yeah, a little bitty with this on top, okay? And then what we're doing is we're doing kind of a button thing here. And I feel like this button is going to be too big. Um, and our closure is going to be a wrap around seam binding kind of thing. So, but it needs time for it to dry. So this, uh, anybody else, I got two people written down here. I have Dana Graham and Anita Brody for a piece of this green. Does anybody else want a piece of the green? It's nine by 12, you guys. It's plenty big enough for a journal cover. Um, and it doesn't have to be a bird watching one. You can use it for anything. Maybe you're making a St. Patrick's Day book. Maybe you're just making a flower garden book. It'd be perfect for that. Um, so they're $15 and they're $4 shipping. So $19 total, um, for a really pretty piece. And, uh, you could just comment that you want a piece. I have Dana Graham and Anita Brody. And, um, well, I'm going to do some invoices here in a little bit. We'll get you all invoiced. Ready to go. Let's see. I think what we're going to do is this one. I think this is a better choice, you guys. Karen Whitworth, I think so. But let me just put your name down. And then I'll check on that for you. My handwriting is so bad. Okay, so to make one of these using buttons, okay, I threaded my seam binding through there just because I thought it's going to look very pretty with that bow type thing, okay? So on the back side, and this is a shell button. It's vintage. I bought them. This elderly lady was selling them at a yard sale along the road, and uh, just very, very pretty. It's going to be awesome for your sister. Awesome. I'm happy for you. Okay, so I'm making this as kind of a step up because when you wrap the th this around, it needs somewhere to wrap around. You can't just have just the button glued flat or it isn't going to work, right? And then, so I glued the button onto the seam binding that's threaded through the button. Whew, that's a mouthful. And then I'm just gluing this button onto the back side, onto the front side here. Okay, now we have to just, we have to leave it I, as much as I want to just keep working with it. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to take this seam binding and it's going to wrap around. I'm going to give you plenty of it so it can go around more than one time. Okay, and when we come back later, we're going to do some things tonight. We're going to do some things to this book that's going to be... Um, some beadwork. We're going to do some beadwork. Okay. And, um, so this will come like this, wrap it around a second time. 
wrap it around a third time because I gave you plenty. And then when that glue is dry, this will just go around that button. See, I already slid the button because I was goofing with it. Um, it'll just go around that button and it'll hold the book closed and it'll just look really pretty. So I think it looks really pretty. We, we went a couple different ways. This is going to get added to a playlist with the bird book over on YouTube. So it'll all be in one place. Um, if you didn't, if you're watching on the replay and you'd like to get a piece of the green quilt, you can always send me a private message and um, we'll get you taken care of. This book is so pretty, you guys. I love it with all the stuff hanging out of it and all the prettiness and the goodness and it's okay, Bev. Oh, Bev has to see this. So we use seam binding, Bev. My button keeps slipping, you guys. We used seam binding and one of those big buttons on the cover. But what I'm most proud of, Beverly, Miss Beverly, is we did um, kind of a cool pocket. And look at the cool thing we made. It's just going to have to keep checking on that. So we made a secret tuck from one of those pot, those um, cards. I sent you one of these cards. So we have a secret tuck. Isn't it cool? I think it's cool. And then we gave it, we made it a little pocket for it to have a house to live in. I don't know where it's at now. Um, there we go. And a little black button just matches all together. And I'm very happy with it. All right. This is going to stay now. So, you guys, I will see you later today. Hope you all have a good rest of your day. Do something fun. If you're stuck inside, that's okay. I like this secret tuck, too. It got cute. Um, if you're stuck inside today, go create something amazing. Um, I'll make sure that the bird watching set is on the page uh, so you can go purchase it. I have no code or anything like that. It was not gifted to me. I purchased it myself. So, um... I, it really was a nice book. So, bonjour, Diane. Um, so, this just needs to sit and leave it alone. So, you guys have a good rest of your day. Remember to always be kind, you guys, because you never know what someone's going through. And I'll see you later. Yes, I'm going to stay. I don't think I'm going much of anywhere. I put chicken in the crock pot for supper, and it's all good. So... But we're going to do some beadwork for this book specifically today. So come back then and um, have a great day, guys. Bye.